Steve, we've just been uh, here on the stats. Five last minute goals since the turn of the year. As a player, can you write them off as you know individual errors or, or does it start to become an overall concern? Uh, I, I don't think when you, if you look at all of them, they're not, they're not individual errors. No, I mean, sorry, yeah, that's isolated incidents. Sorry, uh, aye. My bad. My my bad, quite like that. Uh, no, listen, it's it's, a, it's certainly something I've never experienced all the way through my career. It's certainly the last since the Dundee game. Um, when you look at three games in the span of conceding goals in the last minute, it's something that the the the. You'll probably never experience again, hopefully, for the next well, however many times playing games. It's, it's been incredible, but that is what it is. Um, I don't think it's the same situation that we were in last year with. Last year, you're looking at some of the games at this point of the year and you're saying, you're not playing well in games, you're conceding goals, you're not creating chances, you're not stopping crosses, you're not defending well. It's, it's not been like that at all. Uh, the games that we've, we've in the, certainly the last three or the last four, out with the Hearts game, we were up well beaten. But apart from that, there's not been any of the games at all. Um, you need a bit, of, a, 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 a bit of luck here and there, but we're positive, we're remaining positive, and, and, and we're looking forward to the game at the weekend. Is there a bit of a cool head just now, Stephen, for everyone at the club, not, not to panic and not to be sort of overly anxious about things? Uh, like, when you look at the performances, the performances don't suggest that there's, that there's anything that... Um, to be extremely worried about if you're not playing well then oh, listen there's no much between the team I think out with Celtic Aberdeen and Hearts there's no much between the, the teams at all but you do need to pick up wins you need to pick up points um, it, it's things can change quickly uh, football very quickly you look it was a few weeks ago that we won was it five or six in the spin there wasn't there wasn't any any negativity at that point, and then flip it a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden it's you can you can see people are starting to think, oh no, is it going to be a disaster? Is it going to be a crisis? What are the players doing? What, what's going What's going wrong? Nothing, none so far. You you need to be. It's really important at, at times last that everybody sticks together. Whether it's the players, the coaching staff, the fans especially, uh, need to really really get behind the team. Football fans are the same at every other fo- at every football club. Where when things are when, th- when teams are winning, it's great and everybody comes to the games looking looking forward to it. But when you start to lose, certainly when, when you've lost the, the 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 games in recent weeks, you can you can feel the tension within the within the place. That 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 comes because in the last ten minutes of games, you're you're either winning a game or you're drawing games, and then all of a sudden you're saying, "Oh no, we're going to concede it." That that that's natural. Um, but the fans at this club, certainly since I've been here, have been terrific. Um, and 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 you need them. You need them. It's really important to get the fans get behind the the, the 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 players. But players have got a duty to 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 every time they step onto the pitch, they work as hard as they possibly can. That's the, that should be the minimum. And I think when you look at the performances, the the players have certainly been doing that. Of course, we need to, we, we need to touch up on certain things. But Saturday's going to be a really really tough game. It's one that we're looking forward to, and it's one that we certainly f- feel we can win. In terms of these late goals, then, so it's your view that they're just more a freak result rather than a, a lack of focus or a lack of fitness in terms of. It's not a lack of fitness, Paul. I mean, so that's, that's your view. I'm that's definitely not a lack of. If you come in, if you come in, the one thing that the managers, that, that the manager does is fitness work. Mm-hmm. So if you want to come and and, and if you think it's fitness, no, 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 just that's no. But you're asking, you're putting it out there, obviously saying, is it? Is it? I'm no, I'm telling you, it's not fitness. For a, for a year, but not uh, for a minute, so it's not. Is it? I'm just, right, okay. is, is there a reason for it? I mean, can you put? No, listen. The the the, the reasons, but when you look at the Dundee game. Um, probably, probably the first one that I, I remember was the Hamilton game. Would that be right? Lazzy's penalty. It's hard to go and block a shot, and you and you and you keep your hands at your side. I think if it misses Lazzy's hand, it probably hits the scoreboard. If you're being honest, uh, the 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 Dundee game it was unfortunate with with, with cards. But when you look at how the game went, it was we probably had the majority of the play in the first half. You're shooting downhill. With the one behind you in the second half, Dundee had the majority of the, of the, of the play, but we defended well. And then it was—it's a, a decision that's been made 
by the referee, whether you think it's a pen or not, it's, it's his decision that's, that, that's, that, that I feel like puts in an opportunity where you're not winning the game. Um, what was the next one? Patrick Thistle. Patrick Thistle, Patrick Thistle, it was, again, not much in the game, it was a typical, I feel like, bottom six game where it's much of a muchness, there wasn't really kind of anything happening. Um, and then it's a, 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 a lapse in concentration for, 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 I feel like for a lot of the players at, at, at different times, you know, when you can see the late goal, when you can see the goal, it's usually not down to one person. And it's certainly not, that's not been the case. We're in it as a team, you know, it's, you had seen before Lion, I seen Lionel come out and say that it was his fault. It wasn't his fault, it wasn't his fault at all. It was the, it was the team's fault. You win together and you, and you lose together. It's not about one individual. There's, there were four or five, no errors, but instances where you could have dealt with that better. And it was the same on Saturday when you, when you look at the goals for there as well. So it's the one thing that we're going to remain as positive. That, that's, the, that's the biggest thing, because I, I said at the start of the, of the interview when... When things, when I look at last year, I only look at my experiences as a player. When you look at last year, when you've not been playing well and you're and you're struggling for, you're struggling for creating chances, losing goals. It, it it's not been like that at all. So it's it's hopefully just something that you can't wait for the next game to come. That's the biggest thing because you want to hopefully you know concede the last minute goal. <laughs> you know why can see any goals. Given, given where the two teams are in the league, is yeah. Saturday going to be one of these kind of tense occasions that comes down to the team that holds its nerve? Absolutely, it's, that's exactly how it's going to be. It's 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 going to be teams, both teams that, that are wanting to win the game because they know what's at stake. We went through last year with the playoff games. You you don't want to be involved in that. You don't want to be if if ever I'd want to be a reporter, it would be them because it means I'm anywhere bar on the pitch. Because <laughs> uh, they're, they're they're no enjoyable occasions. They're great for everybody else who's not. And I would I would love to sit and watch them as a spectacle, but not to be involved. But you end up in there, but not because of what you've done for the for the the couple of weeks before that. You're there because of the, what's happened over the course of the season. Um, just now we're 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 just up outside it, but we 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 feel as if that we can, uh, if you can maintain a run, if you can sustain a run, and maybe five or six games, we've still got optimism. And well, we, we can we we feel as if that we can still make the top six, and I think that's how you need to be. But we know it's going to be really difficult. Um, all the teams are go they'll be thinking the same as us because of how tight the league is. But positivity is the one thing that's going to get you. That's going to get you climbing the table, performances, results, and hopefully, hopefully we can get a couple of last minute goals rather than other teams <laughs> getting them against us. In terms of positivity, United then mm -hmm. Tuesday, if you can win both these games, it can be the decisive spell for your season. I suppose. It could, listen, the, 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 the next game is the most important game. It's you take it one game at a time in your career, um, especially when you're when you're at this stage of the, at, at this um, end of the table. It's one game at a time that you need to take. And as soon as it's gone, you learn from it, whether you win, lose or draw, and then you move on, then you need to go to the next one. That's the way you need to go, that's the way you need to go about it. And, and Saturday and then Tuesday, and then the Saturday after that, they're all going to be big games because if you can... The good thing for us is that you've got that belief that you know that you're more than capable of going on a run of maybe five or six games because we've done it. I think if we hadn't done that already, you can sit here and say, I'm going to go on a run... But I don't know if you genuinely believe it because you've not done it. We certainly believe we can do it because we've already shown that we can do it. But like I say, it's just, it's all right talking about these kind of things. It's the proofs and pudding that come this Saturday, and that's ultimately that's when you're when you're judged. Yeah, made much of these uh, clubs from the PFA about actual pitches wanting to have a close examination. I, listen, they're not for me. They're not for me in the slightest. I think I can understand that we take your under our under 17s here uh, myself and, and, and Keith and we train on it w with them and I think to develop young kids it's great um, because you've been able to play on a surface where the ball moves and it's and it's fine but it's not for me when in the professional game I don't think it should happen I can understand I think anybody who comes out and says that it's a positive they're only saying it because of financial uh, restrictions on the club which I, I, I totally agree I, I can understand but I don't think it should be played Scottish football professional should be played on it. That's just my opinion. I heard some comments from Les Gray last night on the BBC. He was talking about 
how the Hamlet's pitch there tested rigorously in terms of how the pitch performs, but he thinks some grass pitches in this league. No, the biggest the biggest thing is is financial. If if you watch any if you go to Hamilton for example, I'll guarantee you that every night of the week there'll be somebody training on the pitch. They say they don't hire us out to be fair. Yeah, but I'll guarantee the academy are yeah, on yeah, every yeah. single that's what I'm talking about. So that's why they use it. That's the same, it's no it's not about what happens higher now I'm most it's every night of the week there'll be people on it because their academy will be on it, that's why it saves you, them money. When you play on it, it takes you longer to recover. When you have to go to like Hamilton or Kelly, does it take you longer to shake it off? At 33, 100%. <laughs> 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 Trust me, I, 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 listen, it's got, there's no doubt in my mind that it's, that it definitely, I, me personally, I feel the effects of it when I play. If I play on it on a Saturday, I'm, I can definitely feel the effects on it for a few days in comparison to grass. I think if you ask players, and I think players are the ones that, that need to be listened to because they're the ones that play on it week in, week out. Like I say, I can understand the financial situation for the people that, that are running clubs, but from a player's point of view, it it's, should be grass. But the quality of grass has to be good enough. And I think that's been the, the point that they're talking about, saying that the pitches obviously haven't been, haven't been, been good. So.